Hey fam and welcome back to another video over here where you will learn how to make quick and easy desserts that I know you will love. And in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make these cranberry bliss bars. Yep, the same ones like from Starbucks. So if you like this video please give me a like, comment, and also subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So here go all the ingredients you will need. I will make sure I will have everything listed down in the description box below. So first thing first, we're going to go ahead and pour in our melted butter, which we're using one stick of butter. Now we're going to add our brown sugar and then we're going to combine. Next we're going to add one egg. Now we're going to keep stirring. And we're going to stir it kind of quick just to make sure the egg don't cook. We don't want scramble eggs. That's a different recipe. Now we're going to add our vanilla extract. Now we're going to add the zest of one orange then combine now we're going to add our flour and we're going to stir everything well Now we're going to add our chocolate chips, which I'm using the white chocolate. Next, we're going to add our dry cranberries. Now I already greased out my dish and I'm going to be adding my batter to my dish and I have the oven on 325 and we're going to bake this for about 15 to 18 minutes. Once it's done baking, it should look something like this. Nice and golden brown on the top. It looks so good and it smells so good. Now we're going to be making our frosting and what you'll need is some cream cheese. We're also going to be adding some vanilla extract. And then we're also going to be adding some of our melted chocolate, which we'll be putting on top. So. Now we're going to add our powdered sugar. Now we're going to give everything a quick blend. 
until everything is nice and smooth. Now we're going to be adding some orange zest. And I'm going to add a little bit of powdered sugar just for the sweetness. And you can adjust it as much sweet as, as you want. So, quick note. Once everything is all mixed up, this is how it should look. Once our bars have cooled down, we're going to then add our frosting on top. Now we're going to add our dry cranberries just so you can have a hint that it's cranberries inside the bar. Y'all look at these. If you guys like content like this, please leave it down in the comment section and also consider subscribing. So now we're going to use some of our melted chocolate and we're just going to put a little glaze on top and this chocolate is going to get hard on there so just going to keep those berries in place once we done drizzling our chocolate we're going to go ahead and sit this inside of the refrigerator for about one to two hours just to everything get nice and firm and it'll also help make it easier to cut. Now that we took our bars outside of the ice box, we're gonna go ahead and cut these into triangles pieces. And your little pieces should look something like this, just like they serve at Starbucks. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. And I really do thank you guys again for helping me reach my 1K subscribers. Now we're just working on the work um, watch hours. So I do appreciate you guys that are running my playlist. So you guys, until the next video. Peace. And if you like content like this, please consider checking out this video.